Hello guys, I'm Timothy All from Earl Sports Bets and Picks and Parlays, and welcome back to another edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. Today we've got some WNBA to break down for you guys. I got three games lined up for you guys here. Before we jump into all that, if you guys are interested in grabbing the MLB plays, because uh, I'm not going to go over any in this video. It's just going to be three WNBA, so it'll be a little bit of a quicker video. Um, make sure you guys check out those on the picksandparlays.net website. That's where you can find all the MLB uh, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. That's where you'll be able to find it. Uh, those are all the plays that me and Nick both agree on. Also on there is the MLS, WNBA, and CFL. Uh, all of them all available over at the site. Let's go ahead and jump into the games. There's only three of them. We'll start off with probably what's going to be uh, your a preview of the WNBA finals, if I had to guess, and that's the Liberty and the Aces. Not really much of a Bold take that the top two power ranked teams in the league. Um, you got the Aces coming into this one 13 and one, seven and seven against the spread, eight and six towards the over. Their only loss was on the road to Connecticut. They are undefeated at home and they cover most of their spreads at home. On the opposite side, you get the Liberty, who are playing good basketball as well. They've won four straight and five out of uh, six out of seven. And uh, they're covering in five out of the seven. They've also gone over in three straight. Uh, they are 10 and three this year, seven and six against the spread, eight and five, two is the over. But uh, this this Aces team is just going to be too good for them. Uh, I think that's going to be a high paced game where the Aces probably can score about 90 to 95, maybe even hit the 100, 100 again. I think your team total over is definitely live for the Aces in this one. So we'll grab the Aces minus the seven. And a hook. How about the fever and the mercury? Um, don't worry, because we got the uh, Liberty game, Liberty Aces. We got two crap games next. Fever minus three against the Mercury with a total of one sixty one and a half. Uh, normally, I would say let's grab the home dog. I am not going anywhere near uh, Phoenix. Absolutely not. I'm not grabbing uh, the Fever as a road favorite either, though. Don't get me wrong. They have uh, Fever have covered in three straight. Uh, the big thing with me in this one, the Fever are five and nine this year, eight, four, and one, and two against the spread, eight and six towards the over. Um, and then on the opposite side, you get the Mercury, who uh, abysmal. You think they're going to be good with cornerback? Nope. Two and 11, three and 10 against the spread, six, six, and one over under record. But when it comes to it, uh, the uh, Mercury have the offense um, in the league. Indiana has about a mediocre uh, offense. Indiana's defense is one of the worst in the league, averaging 84.79 points a game. Phoenix is second to last. Uh, the only defense that's worse than Phoenix is, is Atlanta. And when it comes to it, I think 161.5 is too low. I think both these two teams get into the 80s easily. Uh, I'm going to take the over uh, in the Fever and Mercury game. Final one up is the Lynx in the Storm. You could hit the 1-800-GAMBLER button for either one of these games. I think this one's probably the more 1-800-GAMBLER game, as crazy as that sounds. Um, the Minnesota Lynx, although after a horrible start, are playing a little bit better as of late. They've won four out of their last six games, uh, including covering in those four wins. They've gone under in four out of their last five. They're going up against the Storm, which had a rough beginning to the year as well. Uh they also haven't really played all that well this year. Either four and ten, eight, five and one against the spread, eight and six uh, towards the over. I'm just going to grab Seattle on this one. I know Minnesota is playing better. I don't trust them on the road. That's the big factor here. Is I I cannot get behind Minnesota on the road. I'll grab Seattle as a slight pick them um, one point favorite at home to take care of a bad Minnesota team. Those are the uh, three free pick video, uh, three picks for the WNBA. Once again, if you guys are interested in the MLB stuff, all of those are over on the site, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. We'll recap. We'll grab the Aces minus the seven and a hook, the over in the Fever game, and the Storm minus the one. That's going to do it for this edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Until next time, let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in the WNBA.